Uh, the first thing is the most important thing is a horrific tragedy. I mean, five people lost their lives, um, and I thought our folks in law enforcement on, on our side did an incredibly professional job. I had a chance to meet this morning uh, with one of the troopers that was the first on the scene there uh, after the shooting in Missouri, and, and those folks did an incredibly professional job to, to get that guy uh, without any more shots being fired either way. So I, first of all, I want to say thanks to our law enforcement team that did an incredible job to keep those school, school kids safe in Missouri as well as apprehend uh, uh, this fellow uh, without any more shots being fired. Uh, I've not been fully briefed on what gaps in the immigration system uh, caused him to be in and out at, of, of incarceration at various times, but the bottom line is that it's one of the things that uh, folks talk about immigration a lot, uh, but Congress hasn't been able to pass immigration reform. And so it's nice to hear all these speeches, and it's nice to see everybody trying to say this is that example and that's this example. But until you strengthen our immigration laws and get past, past the sound bites and get the, some actual progress, you're going to continue to have situations like this occur uh, in, in our country. But so Donald I, Trump's whole message is that this wouldn't happen if he were president. I, that's not Donald Trump's whole message. Donald Trump's whole message is really loud. And, and really rude to a whole lot of people. Uh, and, and then yelling at people or saying you're going to build a wall between countries is not going to solve this problem or our other problems we're facing. We live in a world economy, and certainly we have to make our borders safe. And we have to make sure that we pass significant immigration reform so that we have the interoperability between computer systems and the ability to hold who we need to hold and remove from our country who we need to remove.